And good morning. Getting up, starting the day with a little bit of cloud cover down in Ketchikan. And we've already got one ship at the dock. Looking very pretty, just a beautiful little shot down there. I'm so excited that we got this camera down there this summer because really we've gotten to see a lot of those cruise ships coming through and see how active it is in Ketchikan. Let's take a look at what we've got going on across the state. We've got one area of low pressure out to the west. That is going to be impacting mainly the Aleutian Islands, Alaska Peninsula, even into the Kodiak area. And we're still dealing with this just kind of steady stream of rain and moisture moving in to the central and northern portions of the Panhandle. That's going to push that rain from the Panhandle all the way into South Central as well. You see this one dips down into the Gulf of Alaska, and we'll see a little bit of that impact in Southwest Bristol Bay, King Sam and Dillingham. You guys are also gonna get some rain out of this system moving through. Then it kind of breaks up. It looks pretty intense, but it kind of breaks up, though this one continues to just Give us some pretty heavy rain all the way through the weekend around Prince William Sound. Speaking of rain, it is rainy in southeast once again today. Could see that heavy rain for you around Yakutat, Skagway, Haines, Juneau, all expecting to see some rain. Also a little bit breezy still. We're going to see Sitka with winds to about 20 miles per hour. Really the southern portion of the panhandle, though, this moisture has already moved past you. It's kind of moved a little bit to the west, so you're not really going to feel the effects around Petersburg and Ketchikan. But looking at some rain totals as we move through the next two days, by Sunday morning, Juno, a little over half an inch of rain. Haynes at a little, almost an inch. But Yakutat, see, you're right in that steady stream. You're going to get all of the rain in your area. Could see over three inches of rain headed your direction. In, in the interior of the state, mostly cloudy to cloudy skies. Things pretty calm, really even not even seeing that strong winds, only to about 15 miles per hour around the Healy Denali National Park area. Northern Alaska, it is clouds and fog in the area. Overall, again, pretty mild. Temperatures mid to low 40s during the day. We did finally get done with that winter storm warning across the Brooks Range. If you're looking for a little bit of sunshine, you might head to northwest Alaska today. Cots of you, you're looking for that sun. 45 for your high, 48 around Nome. Also expected to see that sunshine develop and even a few sunny breaks for you around Unalakleet. Out toward the Aleutian Islands, that system is going to drop down. So the Pribilofs, you'll also see the rain. That is going to move through ADAC later today. You'll get to see some rain coming in on Alaska, mostly cloudy skies. South Central. Really, I think overall we're going to see clouds, but we do have a few bits of rain moving through. We'll see a few showers around Soldatna. You're going to look for some showers this morning in particular for Seward. Prince William Sound, Whittier, Valdez, Cordova, all of the little communities as well. You are expecting that rain consistently through the day. And then mostly cloudy to partly sunny skies in the valley. Temperatures mid to upper 50s for the Anchorage area. Well, we're going to see some mostly cloudy skies today. Rain comes in tonight and into early tomorrow morning.